all around the world, including in Maldives, coral reefs are under great threat. We have reached a point where we can't just rely on passive restoration anymore. Ocean warming events are becoming more frequent. Our islands need development. The uh, communities want development and they want the uh, harbors and airports and uh, this is not going to stop. But we have to make sure development is done in ways that protect coral reefs and the natural defenses that coral reefs provide. So to be able to give the corals a chance to survive and not lose our biodiversity, I believe that along with protection and conservation, active restoration is now necessary. Well, this Coral Institute uh, or MCI is a non-profit organization and we work with science, community and policy to try and help coral reefs survive the changing climate. We had a workshop and a coral festival in 2020, February. And Noel and Kate from Mars had come and they presented at our workshop and they took part in our festival. And so we started, um, we had a good relationship then and we have continued to stay in touch. Working together with local government, universities, and local communities, Mars has already restored more than 40,000 square metres of damaged coral reef, supporting local fisheries and protecting threatened coastlines. Uh, we're very happy and excited to be uh, able to do this project with Mars. Uh, we hope that this is the beginning of a, a long and amazing journey ahead. It's great to be working with Bebe from Save the Beach Maldives, Fenrihi Dive School and the Fuladu community again. And this time, working with Mars, we also have students and a lecturer from Maldives National University on our team. And they're being trained and carrying out the restoration project with us. We are here to share our coral restoration experience with the Maldives Coral Institute and the people of Fuladu. Um, Fuladu, we were called to Fuladu by Sandy. He lives on this island and he's a diver. We were here last year to try and save the corals that were being degraded by a harbour project on the island. And because there was evidence of high thermal resilience of these corals, we wanted to uh, uh, try and salvage as much as we could. Oh, this is a wonderful site. We've got the very clean water, good water flow, not, the temperature's nice. And there's, um, clearly there's uh, the outer, outer rocky areas with a lot of live coral. Uh, there's a lot of rubble there where there used to be branching corals. But we can actually replace that branching coral by putting in uh, a web of reef stars that allow the um, branching corals to grow back. We're happy we have a site. Uh, we'll now uh, about doing the baseline surveys and uh, we'll get to work. Um, between May and July uh, we have seen that the reef that looked almost completely dead is now already recovering, so this further supports uh, um, what we assumed about this reef being highly resilient. And yeah, so now we're here with Mars Global to try and restore the reef that was lost.
बदल तक गया तो उसवरे कमालों ने एरुगा माहौल मातली मंदे मी मी फारोगा इस बैंक हिसाब हिसाब आम को मी बड़ा तीला कौन होना दिया और हिके रहिके हिसाब तक हो रहे होते हुए पहले तो आलोन हम टूशी कंपाह पड़े हों तो आलोन वैसा मत देखेगा तो कहे मैं बड़ा आदि रखा तेरी कोंगे हिसाब के मी हिसाब वालों में मरके या ऐसी धीरी हो तुम गए मेरी थी को फार तक के की कहाँ ला मरका फिर ना इन हिसाब वालों से देखेगा तो अस्त बहुत ही दम कम में सर का मारू है बहुत ही मोरा का आह इतने में कहाँ मकिसर रेली फेब्रुअरी या किसर तो रेली फा किसर तो गेम पे कॉफ़ेस तो है रेली हम बेकेंगे मारू है फेब्रुअरी इतने एक बहुत ही हो रही है मोरा के मारू हम ए अने एक बार पूरा तंग हम मारू है फेब्रुअरी पर हम आधार नो पूरे मारे गिरें मिडिया well, um, we have uh, already established some very successful partnerships in Indonesia, in Australia, in Mexico and in the Caribbean. And we believe that the Maldives is also a really important part of the world where coral, where coral is really important uh, to the, the local people and also to the, to the globe. And we hope that by sharing our experience that the Maldivian people will, will grasp this and will uh, find ways to restore their reefs on a very large scale. We just sink it. Just sink it, put some stakes in it, tie it down. Excellent, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put it in the water. So, we'll build from where the, uh, the boy is, down along that wall, and then come this way. So we want to choose the fragments that are uh, broken off, or loose. And also, we don't want all same species. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of varieties. You want to remove something if you might. Be careful not to break the coral. Make them smaller. Don't break the tips. Um, yeah. So ready. I'll be ready. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. The local community has been engaged with us right from the start since we worked uh, last year. Many of the community members are concerned about the, their reef. Even though they want the harbour, they also really want to protect their uh, corals. And there's uh, some amount of tourism happening on the island as well. So um, we anticipate that the coral project is something that, uh, that will be an asset to them. Run. एक के बाग अब अलवर में काम बहुत हो रहा है मस्त कर दोगे साथ एक परसेंट तो हिस्सा करें जहे इच्छा मरा क्योंकि मरा का नेतृत्व वैसा हो एम्बेरी कम वाला दबे एम्बे एमान उल्ला माहे मस्त कर में करे वे ये साथ एक परसेंट तो गिरलों हो रखा है मरा का नेतृत्व देखा हम को मिला था कि टूरिज्म के रश्का � एक ही तंग है बेफ़ुलों बालाला बनाने को आधर इच्छे तो ठीक है। So we're finding corals now, guys, and we will be moving the corals to the other side. Yeah, we're going to restore. If our हालात को आरक हमारे रब्बर्स हालात को एक इंदान ए बोले तिराल और बंदे हिवा को तो का रशम अन्ना ने तो हिमाय तेंगे अन्न फेना उस अधिक फेनों का भी अस्त्र आलोग का भी अस्त्र इतने हिमाय कुरान इच्छा घुन्ने न जाता अंकल कुड़ा बना अन्न इतने कलो दो एक गमा दिमाग आओ रुपूट टाइम तो अंकल कलो का फैचर्स वी वी वॉकिंग टू डी अपसाइड लेट्स गो लेट्स गो लेट्स गो अब हमारे लोग मिरा शोगा मिहारो 
Bandaro hedu muge masik ke kuriya dati wa barab bayaro mura kata ke bani halak wa maru e gos. Ema miharu alung a mura kata hedu maki ama barab rangalu kame ke tu alwan deke ni. They impact that side, right? Yeah. yeah. So these are really resilient. They yeah. survived the sedimentation. Sedimentation. And yeah. some of them are likely ones that we have More, relocated. Yeah. Right? yeah. There's a little bit. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, that's enough. enough for a few reef stars. Yeah. So how are we going to And we want to see things? how they settle on the south side of the island. Yeah. yeah? How are we going to do that? Yeah. So when I pick this up, I pick this up, it's got coral here and here. Okay? I want to put this one against the rock wall because if I put this one against the rock wall, I'm going to break it. And you see it fits really well against this live coral here. She needs to go. She's okay. okay? So like that. can tie here when they're touching. If there's a gap, don't tie there. So this protects this protects the reef yeah, star. Yeah. And also this will be stainless steel. And this is steel. If stainless steel touches steel, the steel will dissolve, will rust. The Mars method installs a continuous web of sand-coated hexagonal structures that we call reef stars. These reef stars are all connected together to form a stable structure upon which a new reef can grow. We're preparing for the community to come and help work with us to tie on the coral to the reef stars. So we're just going to go out and bring in the coral that we collected yesterday, uh, ready for fragmenting. And this team is preparing the work tables. You ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Not long enough. I'm always ready. When I came three years ago, these trees, these bushes were alive. Really? Yeah. Three years ago. You see, there's no branches. And you won't see this, uh, you know, the, the, reef, the hard coral barrier. It wasn't there. I'm expecting that the restoration, this will help to restore 
and uh, I will see the bushes growing. And that's what I'm hoping from this project. Um, wall that comes up, it goes into a, a bit of a neck, comes out, and then goes this wall here. Okay, so we'll start here because there's, there's a big, there's a big bommy here. I think there's bommies here and here. So we'll start here. We'll build through there, and then try and build out this way. So you got to play with your hexagons, triangles, diamonds to stretch the web. What we need is a coral-friendly development approach. So the development takes into account how incredibly valuable coral reefs are and avoids harm when possible and also safeguards the conditions that corals need to survive and mitigates unavoidable damage through activities like restoration. So we want to prove that uh, restoring a reef after a project like this is possible. We hope to be able to influence policy as well, to make protection and mitigation part of the initial designing and planning process of development, and to include restoration as part of development projects that cause harm to reefs. Now our pilot installation will act as a nursery as well, so we will be coming back um, for monitoring and then next year we'll be coming back to scale up the project. After we prove the concept we hope that we'll be able to um, convince other islands as well to, uh, to do restoration when they do developments. Team. All right, here we are on the last day of the bill. We're actually we looked at it yesterday. We're all tied to get pretty much all tied together. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, three strong arms here. We'll do the anchoring. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the team will. We want to see the degraded reef here come back to life. We want to restore the diversity and the coral cover and we also want to aid natural recovery. So we hope that when we, um, in the years to come, as we expand, that this reef will have started recovering naturally as well. ಹಿಮಾಯಕೊರುಮ <laughs> Well, uh, 
we are, we are very supportive of the whole idea of the Maldives Coral Institute. Uh, the formation of a central group that can bring together everybody interested in coral restoration and actually achieve things at scale. And for us, uh, this is just a start. We hope that by sharing our experience, starting something here, this will help the Maldives Coral Institute to show the way and to get funding, support for much larger projects in the future. Scaling up restoration projects is important because you end up with a more robust reef that will truly have a positive impact on the islands and the communities that they support. Now soon we want to be able to springboard to the next level where we want to be doing cutting edge research and establish our own lab and be able to work with other institutions um, across the world. We want to help build Maldives as a global centre for coral reef research. My hope for coral restoration is that we'll be able to use these restoration methods to preserve our biodiversity and also to protect as many corals as we can, as many reefs as we can, and through protection, conservation and restoration, that we can make our coral reefs more resilient and in turn our islands and our communities as well. We hope that the re this reef that we've, small reef that we've built here today will serve as an example of what can be achieved and can be used then to justify scale up to much, much larger scale. This coral restoration program provides hope for the future of our coral reefs and for the island communities that depend on them. Mm -hmm.